think I speak for all of us when I say we're so sick of this rain, Dave. I know you're tracking a little more. We are, and slowly but surely we're going to see improvement, but we're going to have to wait a while for it. Let's talk about what we're tracking up and down the eastern seaboard. Showers in the tri-state area with some locally heavy rains tonight. Strong storms for Thursday. Best chance of severe weather. A wonderful weekend ahead as our health expo takes place at MetLife Stadium. You know, June 1, it signals the beginning of hurricane season, and already we're seeing two tropical waves that we're looking at right now. Now, things are relatively quiet at this point. Not a lot of chance of development over the next 48 hours, but keep in mind, we are going to begin to ramp on up, and the peak of the season takes place around... September 10th. Now just keep this in mind as we take a look at this. Remember, we are going to see things really begin to bubble up as we head into July and August and then continue into autumn before things really die down at the end of the season, November 30th. So we continue to watch that and we go from the Atlantic to the East River. Gray skies, low cloud cover. It spells messy conditions as we head into the rest of the evening and indeed right through Friday morning, I'm afraid. The live sky cam picture right now, 70 degrees. Look at that dew point at 68. It is a real tough go out there. These are not comfortable conditions. Now let's go to Storm Tracker 4's live red sweep. And you can see, even though we're in South Jersey right now, areas where we're seeing some extensive and heavy downpours. All of this, again, anywhere from an inch to three inches an hour within this system right here, working slowly in our direction at about 20 miles per hour. So slowly but surely, it's going to make its way towards the Jersey Shore into Jackson by Great Adventure at 458, over through Greenwood Manor, uh, Manor at just about 5 after 5, Lakewood at 514, and Lake Riviera at 521. This is just one of several of these areas of rain. Uh, the good news is, as we take a look at Long Island right now, that's pretty much light to moderate rain falling, but it's going to continue, and severe weather is possible as we roll on into Thursday a better likelihood than tonight. So we're going to stay weather aware all day. Second half of the day looks certainly more active. Primary concern is for high winds and hail. Flash flood watch is in effect because we could see more torrential rain on already saturated ground. Let's move the time clock to 8 o'clock tonight and you can see down by the Jersey Shore could see some strong rains and into the overnight as well. We're going to see cells which are going to produce the potential for thunder and lightning and windy conditions too. This is tomorrow at about lunchtime, and then during the afternoon, things really begin to charge on up. First up through the Hudson Valley and the Hudson River Corridor, and then out to the east across Long Island. Eventually, 9, 10 o'clock, we'll begin to see things die down a little bit. The real improvement comes as we head into Friday afternoon, launching into what will be a spectacular weekend. The timing is really right. Saturday and Sunday look great. The Health Expo, of course, taking place at MetLife Stadium. So, adults, you want to do something to check out your current state of health and remain healthy for a lifetime and learn about that? You come. Kids looking for something great to do? Bring them. We've got a rip, uh, a, a zip line, I should say. We've got members of the Giants and gorgeous, gorgeous weather. So it should be a spectacular weekend ahead. We just got to get there. 450 mm. right now, 70 degrees. Back to you. So close. All right. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Dave.